Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create these beautiful slides using Morph Transition in Canva. If you like my idea, please click like and subscribe for my channel and let's get started with this tutorial. First, click on Education Presentation Template. Okay, so as you can see here, I've prepared some illustrations Okay, first one, I have some cute carton cats, green potted plant, moon icon, abstract watercolor block, mountain, and cloud shapes. You can find these keywords in the element section right here. So for the second slide, I have put in some screenshot images so that we can use these colors to apply in our new design. And as you can see here, we have a window. And to create this, we need to go to PowerPoint. You can use any PowerPoint version that you have, 2016, 2017, or 365. And to create this, we will need to copy the new slide. Go to shape and then choose a rectangle that has top corners rounded. We just need to pull these little dots inside of the rectangle to make the top more rounded. After finishing with the editing shape, I would click on the background and then hold down control key and then click on the rectangle. Then I will go to shape format and we can subtract the rectangle from the background. Okay, now it's time to create red bubbles that have icons inside. Okay, now let's add a new slide. Create a circle and hold down the shift key to resize it without making it disfigured. Then create some small circles. So basically, we have a big circle and four small circles. It's pretty much the same step that I used before. Now let's go to shape format and then subtract the small circle from the big one. Remember to scale down the bubble a little bit so that it won't perfectly fit the curve. Now you can create the small icons inside the red bubble. You can create 5 or even 6 if you want, but I would just go for 4. Okay, so we've finished with creating elements for our slide, and now let's export them. First, go to File and choose Export. Here we will export them with the PDF extension. Now let's go back to Canva and upload the file that we have just created. After finishing uploading the file, let's click on that file. And here you can you can hold down Ctrl and C keys to copy this illustration and then paste it in our design. But before that, let's decorate the slide first. I will change the color of the background so it would look like the one that I designed before. Then I'll add some illustrations to make it more engaging.
Okay, it's time to paste the window that we just created. You can hold down these keys to put it to the bottom layer. Okay, now it's time to decorate the things that is outside of the window. First, let's take care of the clouds. I'll put it on the two sides of the window like this. And it's really important to save the window illustration into your clipboard. You can do this by holding down Ctrl X keys. The next step is to create a sun using a circle and then change its color. I'll just put it on the top right here. And now it's time to hold down Ctrl V to paste the window. Okay, now we can put the wheel back to the slide by holding down Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And don't forget to put those icons back to place. For this morph transition, it is very important to duplicate the slide using Ctrl D keys. For the second slide, move all the illustrations so that it would appear in front of the window. At the same time, I would also spin the wheel and drag the icons to add morph transitions click on this plus icon and then choose the match and move transition So the transition looks like this. There are a couple of few things that I would like to add into our slide, which are text. So I have copied a text box right here. You can use any font that you want, but just go for sans serif. So the next step is very important. Okay, I would add two rectangles that has the same color with the background, one on the top and the other is at the bottom. Then copy this text and paste it on the first line. Then you can drag down this text and make it the bottom layer. Okay, so here is our final result. So it's pretty much the same step that I would use for the rest of the slides. You can add any colors that you want. You can change the background. So for the third slide, I would drag up the text and put it behind the rectangle after that you can change the background color then go back to the second slide and add a circle that has the same color with the second slide's background then put the circle before the background but behind other illustrations Copy 
the circle and paste it on the third line. But remember to drag this circle to another position and then add more illustrations to create the night scene. And likewise, you can copy those illustrations and put them in the previous slide, but remember to bring them backwards. For the last step, let's turn back the window and then add more transitions between the slide. And here is our final result. Beautiful slides using morph transition on Canva. Thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video.